Hey guys, and welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Tuesday, and that means we are using Yubel Destiny. So I saw Kakashi Kyle commenting on the video saying that his is just the best Yubel Destiny deck in the world, and that mine's too slow, and mine's a piece of shit, and just like, oh, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I'm having fun with the deck. It's it's going pretty well. Of course, it needs to be updated after the ban list, but I, I'm pretty much enjoying it. Hi, good luck, have fun. And this de hand is pretty good, actually. Like, this hand can kick some butt and take some names, like, right now. I think I will do that, actually. I think I will just kick some butt and take some names. I can go discard special, discard send plague. Um, actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just go discard special, activate this, put the plague to the graveyard, put that on top of the deck, summon that. Yeah, I, I could definitely go. Wait, hold on. Discard special. No, I don't even need this special, actually. Just summon, discard, send. Put to the top of the deck. Yeah, I'll do that. And the only reason why I'm going to overextend so much right now is because I have a return. So. Fuck. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll put this to the graveyard. To go ahead and put plague to the graveyard. Oh, he's right there on the top of the deck. So, of course, return being banned, the deck does need to be changed. Uh, I'll activate Foolish, and I will go ahead and send the other Plague. No, Kashikawa doesn't like to run the two Plagues. Alright, so, clearly I'm going to set this return, because I'm going to be using that. So, I'm going to go... Uh, the question is, do I really want these cards? Hmm... They're okay. I'll take the lance. You know what? They're they're fine. They're fine. So I'll go. Mali effect. I'm gonna of course lose one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and banish the summon. So this hand was just optimal. I'm gonna go plague. Oh, pl oh my god! I can't type plague effect. So, which one would I rather have? The Lance or the Armageddon Knight? I'd rather have the Armageddon Knight, to tell you the truth, so I can get Ebel set up. So, put that on top and summon Plague. I'm gonna go ahead and sink. Not seven, eight. <laughs> it's like, oh, numbers are wrong. And we will go ahead and go for Void Ogre because we won't have any cards in our hand. And we'll go uh, Mally Effect again. We'll banish this Mally. To summon a different Mally, which will be this one. Then we'll go Plague Effect again. We'll go ahead and put this at the top of the deck, save it for later. To summon up this, and we'll sink 8 again. And, uh, oh, no, this is banished. My bad. This is banished. This goes to the grave. And who do we want to make? Uh, we'll make a Stardust, because why not? And I'm my turn with that ultimate, optimal play. Uh, pretty much Rapitude. Like, look at that. Look at that. That was a pretty nice play. First turn. Must say. This guy's sitting there like, shit. I mean, I could have made another Vault but Stardust is fine, too. So, I got this, pretty much. So I'll be beating the crap out of him with these. Oh, wow, he's just going to set two back row. Almost. What's this? Okay, you want to send top five cards back? That's fine. That's fine. So you're going to do that to my draw face? Oh, he's using the Night no, no, Swords. I didn't know they were on here yet. Uh, what's in here? Okay. Uh, effect. So we will go ahead and just send you bell to the graveyard. So we're doing against new light zones. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's probably GG for you. Thank you for 14. You can't drop Gores unless you have a Trigodia to block. 
17. 25, 3,000, that's game. Yep, that's game. Wow. <laughs> I guess, I feel bad for saying that. Alright, we'll go ahead and duel someone else. Alright, we'll duel against this person. The rating's pretty high. So we won't have to sit there and just be like, Oh no, you, you stop being so noob, stop being a scrub. <laughs> 40 card deck, everything looking fine. Sands, okay, you know, I can go, I'm gonna drop you bell, so it's a reverse, classic you bell play. Started off right. Pitch dandelion to summon out. Oh, we're gonna get the synchro deck. Alright. And he can only be used for a synchron monster, right? Which synchro are you gonna go for? Oh, okay. Okay. Draw. Oh, we're getting all the DDRs, which is fine. We're going to be definitely having to use DDR uh, next format. Because, you know, with your turn ban, you just go DDR. It's like, yeah. And we'll drop you, Bell. So this guy can pretty much attack us directly, and then he gets a monster back. This guy's definitely annoying. Like, he'll probably be, like, the key annoying card in this duel. What does this do? During your opponent's time, when this card is in, is in your possession, it's sent to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, it becomes the phase of this turn. Uh, sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect. Nothing, no card effect went off. All I did was attack you. So I will proceed to go to second main phase, set this, set this, and end my turn. I mean, I guess, it's just a weird card. And you want that back, okay. Uh, what is this, my lance? Oh, I'll activate it on you. Just to make you a little bit lower. So what's he go down to like, what, 16? So he can have himself again to attack me directly, but he'd be like, what, 800? Now just flip up the limit reverse. So I still got a few more things to set up. Of course, the reverse will block me for an attack. Wow, he's not going to attack me, and he's not going to use his effect. Okay. And then he just quits, of course. Ah. Uh, I apologize that I couldn't uh, record this live for some reason. I just couldn't get on uh, DM today. It's kind of weird. I kept on trying to log in, and this thing just wouldn't uh, pop up. Okay, I will be going first. And let's see how this hand is. This hand is actually really good. Like, this hand can pretty much allow me to go straight off, off like right now. I'll put this in the gray. Especially summon this. Effect. Like, pretty much I can go for a double synchro again. The question is, do I want to do that, though? <coughs> Not really. I think I might just go for the King of Feral Limbs and get me a mass chameleon, just in case shit hits the fan. Because I'm going to be putting you bell in the graveyard right now, so... And then next turn we can do that. Okay, I'm guessing the effect is fine, because he's not really responding, so we'll go ahead and put that to the grave. To put... He belted a grave. And we will normal summon 
and again now you get his effect and we will put we'll put the other plate to the graveyard and we will overlay these two into King of Feral Imps his effect we will detach to go ahead and get a reptile to our hand which will be the mass chameleon and then we'll just end our turn pretty good first turn must admit graveyard nice and set up uh, we got some plays for next turn back row might be one of the key problems though but with one card in his extra deck I'm probably guessing that maybe we're going against effect I'll go ahead and detach to give me another mass chameleon since you don't want to kill him. Yeah, I'm about to check under the hood of this deck once again. So I definitely don't want this in the hand. Like, that's just a straight given. And, uh, I'm still wondering if I should overextend right now. Not sure, just because he has that background. I'm not going to overextend. I'm just going to attack his monster. Okay. Well, that sucks. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Well, that sucks. That hand was actually not that bad. I mean, this hand's not that bad, but it's whatever. Okay, well, you're still destroyed. I still attacked you. You're still dead. Thank you. Uh, can I do that? I'll go main phase two. We'll activate Rhoda. I believe he is a level four warrior. Yes, he is. I will go ahead and get Defender. Activate Destiny Draw. Put to the graveyard. Draw two cards. One, two. Okay. Pretty much just thinning out my deck at this point. Activate Foolish. Anybody else in the deck that I can drop? Uh, you two stay in that deck. Do not, do not get out of the deck, or I will kill you. <laughs> uh. I'm still trying to figure out. I think I'm just going against some scrub shit. See, like, there's nothing really that good that he's real to me. Eh, I'll summon you. Set this. Go ahead. So next turn, I will be prepared to go and just kick some butt and take some names. So we got both the plagues. I don't have to put up two cards, pretty much. That's fine. That's fine. That's one. Oh, Magician Circle. Uh, I do not have any spellcasters, so I will show you my deck to confirm when you're done summoning. My bad. Uh, no. How do I show my deck? I have to show him my deck. <sighs> I accidentally showed him my hand, but I had to show him my deck. Uh, how do I? Okay. There we go. I have to show. I had to show my deck. Hold on. You have to look at my deck. I have no spellcasters. Okay, so I will go ahead and take 400. I have no spell casters in deck. Have to show you my deck to confirm. That is the rule. <laughs> I'll go ahead and set this. Uh, Mali effect. I will. Banish a malicious to summon a malicious. 
That was a misclick. Doesn't doesn't matter though. I'm about to lose my hand anyway, so. Because I was like, it was like show, and I was like, oh yeah, show, and then I saw the hand, and I'm like, oh, I just shoot, showed my hand. Didn't want to do that. Uh, plague effect. I put uh, this on top of the deck to summon out my plague. And I will go ahead and sink. Oh, oh, sink eight. So uh, this goes banish. This goes to the grave, and I will be summoning my favorite, Wodogger. Then we'll go Mally Effect again. Actually, yeah, Mally Effect. I was thinking about, uh, actually, I'll go Plague first. But I don't want to do that, because I actually would like this Mass Chameleon on top of the deck in case shit hits the fan. And you guys know how much I like to na make sure that shit doesn't hit the fan, because it's going to splatter all over the place. Plague Effect. We will go ahead put this on top of the deck. And summon out... Like again. Then we'll go ahead and sink eight again. So you can go to the graveyard and you get banished. And I will go ahead and summon another Void Ogre because I'm a dick like that. And, uh, we will just attack you. So both of your cards I can pretty much just go nah. And I will attack you. And negate. Negate it. Negate your card. I have no cards in hand, so negate it. Go ahead and put that back in the graveyard. And I'll end my turn. So I got two 3,000 beaters who can pretty much negate a lot of shit. And then next turn, well, not next turn, I probably won't do it next turn. But anytime I feel like it, I can just go, okay, activate return, summon null these four, and then just go double sync eight again. Mass Chameleon! Okay. I should have thought that one out, because I can't normal summon this. Uh, cannot be normal summoned. Blah, 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 blah. Can I set it, though? It seems like I can set it, and I think I will, in case shit hits the fan. Because I need to get all cards in my hand. I really should have thought that one out. I totally forgot he can't be normal summoned if I... have cards in my hand. I mean, no, I can't normal summon if I have a level 5 or higher on the field, which I would have Void Ogre. But it doesn't say anything I say. I can't, it can't be set. It cannot be normal summon if you control level 5. It says, it said normal or set, I'd be in big trouble, but it doesn't. So draw, Destiny Draw, I will set that and pretty much attack with Void Ogre. And whatever he plays, I will negate it. So that was an easy win. Once again. Sure. Alright guys, so I'm going to call that a video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Ubelixis.